can listen to that song and not want to get up and dance. Something might be wrong with you. Which reminds me of this. I could be like, do a whole skit like that old school comedian Jeff Foxworthy, I think was his name, or Jeff Foxworth or something. When he used to say, you might be a redneck if... Well, you might be a redneck if you live in my town. The percentages are pretty stinking high. But I could do like, you might be a raw vegan if, you know what, you might be a raw vegan if not only does your first shirt have finger holes, but so does your coat. Because sometimes I get cold and I like to accommodate myself with temperature control. You know what I mean? So I want to tell you this. Speaking of accommodating yourself, so here's the thing. Making it easy to bring along, like for example, your green smoothies or your water so that you could drink more, baby, drink. Or, or you know, we don't have to go around, you, you go to work and you take your mason jars, okay, of green smoothie and you wonder why people are like giving you the bad eye. It bothers you, so change that up make it look more more normal and that way people can quit harassing you because if you're new at this you're still in the baby stages you know you're still like toddling around you're you're barely pulling up on the side of the furniture and anybody could just come and knock you over you know so make yourself more stable make yourself more resistant to people's hatred if it's bothering you so i wanted to tell you this if you are going to drink what more water now that you're trying to up your hydration this is a key to having energy first of all second of all it keeps you full you know it gives you mental clarity it really just ups your whole vibrancy the water you know and I'm usually having something in my water um, lemon or lime or different things like that and usually I like to like in the morning when I have my lemon water if you've not seen my video on the benefits of lemon water you might want to check that out it'll make you never want to not get up and have a whole lemon blended in your water the, the results are phenomenal it's cheap and easy and frankly tasty so what I was gonna say was you want to make sure if you're going to bring that along have a container that makes it easy don't have these little tiny straws where all the, the pulp and the um the fiber of the fruit you blended up are getting stuck in that it just makes it a pain don't you know i used to take two mason jars full of green smoothie to work with me all the time until those bumped together just right and the glass broke and i had a glassy green smoothie mess inside my lunch box but worse than that no lunch so then I started putting a cold pack in between but what I'm saying is I was just over at uh, I had to return something and so I was in TJ Maxx and y'all they had just a slew I was just looking at those water bottles and bottle options thinking wow like you could get yourself a special bottle that made you want, it just reminded you that, hey, you're doing something different. I kind of like these, which is just, a, it's, it's a, um, of course, plastic, what looks like a mason jar, but what I don't like about it is it, wa it won't fit in my cup holder. It's kind of a pain to clean, and um, something about this I just don't like. I never feel like it's totally clean, but I've had that for a while. My mom gave it to me. But I'll tell you what I really like, and this is cheap. And you, I'm sure you've seen these. They come in all different colors, but um, they're BPA free too on your plastic. If you're a person who likes to use vintage Tupperware, you might want to rethink that because I've, I've done that recently because the plastic can be, the chemicals in the plastic can be leached into your, your drink and cause a lot of problems, especially for women. So you might want to look into that. But these right here, this one, let me show you this one. $5.99, okay, you can get these at Walmart or whatever. It's the blender bottle. What's handy is, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little, um, yes you can, there's a little thing in there. It's a little wire thing, and it, you can shake up. So if you have a green smoothie, that will even shake in there. Typically, I would just shake it up. I would take that out, unless I had a, something a little thinner, like lemon water or whatever. But what else is good about these? You can clearly see that you're drinking. It's like 24 ounces, I think. And what else is good is you see the top, the spout in there is big enough to be a big gulp. You know, like I can down one of these of water in a matter of seconds. But if I'm sipping through a straw like this other one I just showed you, 
it takes a lot longer and I'll tell you what else it pumps air into your guts creating a gassy situation which I try to avoid at all costs but these don't do this that I mean you can tip it back makes you feel good drink a little more green drink than you know you should right so this is and this was $5.99 and um, these wash up good and everything and you know I'm minimizing so basically I have gotten rid of all stuff I have another one of these I have this and, and a mason jar so Christopher and I we got these he loves gray so I got him this one and this is another thing if you have a teenager or whatever this really helps them to want to drink water um, you know maybe go ahead and make an infused water with like cucumber and some berries or whatever in the fridge and they can just pour that in Christopher and I have a pure water uh, zero water water filter in the fridge and also a brittle water filter on the tap So that makes the water clean and it no, it's not as good as if you got spring water or whatever, but I'm on a budget Okay, so I want to eat too and have pretty decent water and another thing is you know uh, What I was gonna say is when you have that in the fridge then maybe your teens are going to want to have that or do you have no beautifully infused water in there though you have soda and you can't understand why your teenagers drinking soda because that's the choices you're provided providing I don't let him choose that at home because it's not there to choose you know if I buy like an almond milk or something he thinks it's like heaven oh my gosh what did you get that it that's for me right you know and he gets excited so, but Christopher also knows that if he was to drink dairy products or different things like that, he becomes mucousy, his acne becomes worse, which I am trying to do something about. You know, he is a 17 and a half year old teenage boy, and I never had acne as a teenager. I had acne as an adult, nodular acne, but he just has a little hormonal acne. And we have been treating that with Manuka honey and also um, scrubbing with coconut oil. And we've been doing um, a little bit of witch hazel on there and it's been helping. But when he, before when he was having um, dairy and things in his diet, the acne was much, much worse. And he would also have like phlegm in his throat. He would be congested, which is something you will really notice goes away and minimizes when you get off the dairy it's so dang toxic and it's so it has an addictive draw of come on back for some more you know so anyway I just wanted to show you this I wanted to just tell you that get some get some quick easy tools like this to remind you when you see this sitting in your cup holder or you see it sitting on your desk that you know what I'm different today because I'm doing different and I'm making steps this is one little step you could take for for six bucks it's probably cheaper at Walmart um, but I was gonna have a credit in there, you see. I had to take someone's Christmas present back. Not that they bought me, that I bought them because they were very ugly and I'm surprised I'm not gonna give them some calls, so we'll just call it even and I, <laughs> I had to take that back. Isn't that funny? Anyway, so you can have the purple or you can have the gray, you could be not looking like you're drinking the Shrek drink like I used to tell the kindergartners when I would go to lunch with them. It could just look like you're, you're drinking a, a it, if you put a green drink in this, it would look like you might be drinking like a chocolate shake or something. See what I'm saying? So, it's the little things every dang day. See y'all later. Hey, listen to this. This is also something else that I am manifesting, okay? Here's what it is. Years ago, I used to own an infrared sauna, and I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's a dry sauna, and you can get a one person or two person, but my ex-husband and I had gotten one, and we got it, um, it was used, and the lady had hardly used it, it was like brand new, the things are very expensive, but we got our hands on one for just a couple of hundred dollars, and back then, I didn't have any really anywhere to put it, so we had to put it outside in what would be like the utility building right off the side of the carport. Well, so every time you wanted to go in there, it was really cold, and you had to, it was harder for the, for the sauna to heat itself up because it was sitting in the cold. But you see, now that I'm minimizing, here, here's what I'm manifesting. Are you ready for this? I'm going to get my hands on another sauna because I have just been re, um, looking at the benefits of that and remembering the benefits that I had 
with some serious detox and my skin and everything when I was getting in that thing every few days. Yes, you can go get in one. There, There is a place, a sauna, um, like a sauna spa place over in Greenville. But I was looking at the prices of that, plus it's 30 minutes, so we're talking about gas. And the prices were like $29 for one session for like 30 minutes. So, how many sessions would it take me to actually, I could have bought my own. Furthermore, I got to thinking, I could clearly open up a sauna, spa, studio around here. And um, I can incorporate that with raw foods and, and living and loving. You know what I'm saying? It will be the sauna of love and light. <laughs> the spa of love and light. But anyway, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some furniture in my home that I don't need. And I've got it on Craigslist and I'm going to sell it and then I'm going to take that money and I'm going to buy myself a sauna I only want a single person because I don't want to take up much space because I'm planning on downsizing the area which I live in so we want to keep that in mind but see I would be willing to give up the space of where like a chair would go to have a sauna it's all about cultivating your own life and what you want needs and wants you know for your own self choosing your own way so anyway that's what I'm gonna do and that is how I'm going to get a sauna without spending a dang dime <laughs> how are y'all this is exciting okay I love it when people buy me a week worth of groceries for Christmas and I know you're thinking well Tanny did they give you a gift card or what no because somebody bought me three tickets three of these scratch off they're these lottery ticket things the only time i've ever bought a lottery ticket was when it was so much i forget how many millions it was and my mother forced me to go in the store and buy one she was not going to hush into it and i would just throw my money away because i clearly didn't win the lottery but these tickets you like scratch off the five things that show the numbers you need to match when you scratch off the other things and so I got three and it looked like they were like five dollars a piece which would have been fifteen dollars which was a very nice Christmas gift and I did enjoy that but I really enjoy it when I won are you ready for this seventy dollars <laughs> seventy dollars y'all that will buy me a week's worth of low-fat raw vegan groceries cha-ching 